kisses as well, bro. Big <laughs> up kisses. What's up, YouTube? We back with another one, and today I seen that y'all enjoyed that ride along with M6 Mike and his car and everything. So I actually have a car that's kind of a sleeper build. A lot of people know about it from uh, Need for Speed's Most Wanted, and you really don't see them too more, too much. Well, too much. You really don't see them too much, and it's a Cobalt SS 2007. It's the supercharged version. It's not the turbocharged version, which I wish it was, because. I'm more of a turbocharged fan than a supercharged fan, but I love the wine, so I can't complain about it. It's my everyday driver, and uh, it's been good to me, so here she is right here. gonna do now is uh, I don't want to make the intro too long what we're gonna do what I got planned is since we're gonna be sending it today this car does have a lot of miles on it it's got around 250,000 on it and I keep the oil change keep spark plus change all the regular maintenance on it so car's been good to me like I said I don't got no complaints about it and everything but I, I want to change the oil in it because it's getting for time for an oil change because I don't want to risk that and us beating on it and everything so that's what I'll that's what I'm going to be doing today is changing the oil on it Then we're going to wash it up because you know for me driving it every day as you can see on the rims and stuff that brake dust it's uh it's getting you know dirty I want to show her a little bit of love and clean her up and show y'all her but um first and foremost before I even uh go to my mom and dad's to wash it and change the oil and everything because all the tools and stuff's over there I'm gonna get y'all a cold start of this thing. So. But yeah, so she sounds pretty good to be what she is, a little four cylinder, you know what I'm saying? But whenever uh, you get the ripping on her, she sounds even better. That supercharged wire and I'll, I'll rev it up after a while and uh, after we change the oil and everything and show y'all uh, what she sounded like that little supercharger wire show y'all the engine bay and everything so let's go ahead and get over here to my mom and dad I ain't gonna lie to y'all your boy was running and the cobalt was running on fumes that day I, um, I had to come get gas before we went to my mom and dad's house and uh, that's where we are on the way to now is the Go there so we change the oil and everything. I know I, did, I just didn't feel like stopping the other day. You know when you feel like you late for home. You know what I mean you just in a hurry to get there from work. That's how I felt. I felt like I was late for home, so I didn't even stop. So we about to we on the way there now. When we get there, I get y'all back home. pulled up to my mom and dad's i'm about to go ahead and get the car um jacked up and everything and go ahead and get started on this oil change and go ahead and get started cleaning up cleaning up the car and everything and washing it and i'm gonna put y'all on a time lapse for uh for this because uh, i don't really want to bore y'all pretty sure there's uh videos of oil changes and stuff on these cars in particular on youtube and everything so i want to hurry up and get this done because i'm supposed to be uh m6 mike again uh around an hour or so i'm about to go ahead and do this and I'll put you on this time lapse be real quick
just finished washing the car and everything. Incense Mike just called me, so I'm about to go meet him. As you can see, my oil's shining now. She ain't been this clean in a while. But, you know, like I said, she's old. She's got wear and tear in her owner. Base coat, clear coat coming off the sunspots up here too, which is normal because this, this is, like I said, it's 2007. You can actually see it a little bit more here. I need to redo these lights. I actually did redo my mom's on her Acadia over there, but I'd probably make a separate video on doing that. But I got uh, somebody that's wanting to tell how my subscribers are, my support or something today. And it's my little niece, so. Hello, he's the best subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I'm the best subscriber is what she said. <laughs> so, well, we better go meet in some smiles. I'll cut y'all back on whenever we uh, pull up to meet her. All right, we're pulling up to meet in six Mike. Uh, as you can see, uh, whenever I pull up, he did a little bit of stuff to the car now since the last time y'all saw him. And he told me he was gonna do it. He was in the process of rewrapping it and everything. Uh, he was gonna try to do it himself, but he decided to take it back off or whatever. But I mean, it's back to its original form, pretty much, except the wheels the way he painted them. And it does look good in there. It's the thing now, that's what I was telling you, it might look different from the last time that y'all seen it. But we just picked them up and we're about to go do this ride along right quick. All right, we, we had the little spot right now. We had a different location around the same area though. Um, I want you to just tell me what you think about it so far, what you think is gonna happen. How you well, think it's gonna be? Being that it's a stick, I already like it already. <laughs> I only got one stick car. That's my first one, but ever since I had that, I fell in love with them. So yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You know, it's four cylinder, it ain't you know too crazy or nothing like that. It's something fun to play with. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. And it used to didn't ride that good because I used to have it on uh, Coilo, uh Lawrence. I think it was just Lawrence Springs or something. It was static and it was like drop, drop. Yeah. And it did not drive good at all. Like it, every pothole you hit, you could feel it. But with this one, um, now that my, we put coilovers on it and everything, it rides a whole lot smoother, you know, with just me driving everywhere, you know, back and forth to work and everything. It's a whole lot better. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, so what it's got on it, it's got a full exhaust from the headers back. It's also got um, an uh, engine, a uh, colder intake, and it's been flash tuned to, uh, for 93. And so really, that's all it's got. And this junk gets like 25 to 27 miles to the gallon. It comes from the factory with 250 horses. So with everything on it, I'm calculating, you know, around 300 maybe, 300, 310, somewhere around there. I haven't got it tuned or nothing, but I think that's pretty close of where it's at. But, but I still, that's a rocket for what this is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for four cylinder, you can't beat it. It comes from the factory with that the supercharger and everything. Yeah. I'll show that to you right quick. Pop the hood for everything. But like I said, you know, the paint on it and stuff, it's a 2007, so it ain't really, it ain't really like, you know, perfect condition or nothing. Even under here, it's dusty because, you know, I drive it every day. But, Part of the day. Yeah. That's the supercharger right there. <laughs> I don't think I even knew these came with superchargers. Yeah. I've seen a ton of them. I know the new ones in like the cruisers and stuff, the newer model ones, they come with turbos from the factory. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you know, this is something different. Uh, the dope. 2009 model, they come with turbos though from the factory, yeah. They come with uh, 300, uh, I think, uh, from the factory with a turbo. They come with a digital gauge and everything. I'd rather have that one though. Yeah. So you prefer the turbo? Yeah, I'd rather have that one. A whole lot. I, I like turbo a whole lot better. My SRT4, uh, once I get it running and everything, I should, I'll let you do a ride along in that one too. I see some of those at the track now. Those things move. For real? <laughs> yeah. They're pretty crazy. Yeah. The only thing is that motor, bro, it won't hold that much boost. That's what happened to mine. Yeah. yeah I cracked the cylinder walls and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty much it for this, though. Uh, there ain't too much to it. Like I said, I haven't did anything to it that much. Cause it's my daily mm -hmm. but it'll shock you it'll yeah. shock you though <laughs> i so, believe it yeah front wheel drive yeah front wheel drive mm -hmm. I, I won't do like a uh from a dead stop because it will hop so bad i ain't trying to break an axle or nothing yeah, that's but uh i do like a 510 roll though show you something all right but uh we about to um head out i'm gonna put y'all on the gopro whenever we go get it we gotta go back to my house and get it and then uh we do a couple pulls and i do a drive by with y'all and see what he thinks about it then all right so we're back in the car now we're about to get his real reaction of the car and what she can do so, 
finally got the GoPro. We had to come all the way back home to get this one. I'm prepared. Be surprised. Yeah, but like I was telling you in the challenge, I didn't include it in that video. This is the car that I bought uh, whenever I didn't know how to learn, learn how to drive stick. Really? And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. My dad seen it. He had always wanted one of these cars too, in a caliber like I got. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you're not on the channel or nothing yet. But um, he had wanted one of them too. So I found one of the Green's I was like, I'm going to sell. Uh, I had a Mustang, another Mustang. And I was like, I'm going to sell that. So I'm gonna go get this. And um, went up there, drove it, my dad drove it home. I was like, dang, I gotta learn how to drive this joint. I didn't know how to drive it, I was determined. I, was, I went in the yard and drove it around and everything. I was trying to figure out, you know, the clutch and stuff. It died a couple of times, like the whole thing died. Sure. The battery died and everything. I thought I was gonna have to get a new battery, but I don't think I ended up having to get one or nothing. Finally, I learned how to drive it. And ever since then, I've been good, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's usually how it works, though. I mean, all it takes is wanting to do it for real. Yeah. Uh, even in my car when I first got it, I'm at the dealership. The guy's like, you want to test drive it? I'm like, no, uh, you can drive it for me. <laughs> I took the past, but still want to test drive. Dang. So, hey, what was he saying? Was he confused? Nah, he was actually, you know, a salesman going to try to save the car from us. He didn't oh, kind of yeah. drive it. <laughs> he <laughs> he said, I don't care if it's in your yard. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> so, so I need that money. That's it. I'll get that car in two weekends, and I'll take it back with me on my uh, on the road my third weekend. Yeah. But yeah, like I said before, I, I probably wouldn't even get an automatic again if I had a choice. Yeah, the only reason I uh, I'd be wanting to get an automatic is because my girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It do pull. It do pull. bro. It do pull. It's pretty quick. I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you know, my girl, man. That joke be so funny. Her head be like that. That joke be so funny, bro. I'll be killing tension with that one, boy. Girl, really? she be getting mad. I I mean, we sure. always drive her car, though, so I can't even <laughs> really get her this one. I prefer to drive me and Tasia. I don't know, like, her car is the better on gas car. Like, if we go on a trip, I'll probably drive her car from yeah. downtown. I want to drive my, I got to hear it. I got to hear something. Yeah. I'm not too quiet. <laughs> Most of my cars are too, so I got kids now. So. Oh, facts. <laughs> I, can't, I don't got that luxury no more. Yeah. Know? That's why I'm about to fix this time. I was seeing cars last night in the track, man. And they were like no time car, but I know they're running well into the tens. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far at nine, but like ten. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I just missed the freak out of that. He's not broken. He thought I broke it. I did for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't breaking. I missed it. Cause like it's it's weird because like this ain't a stop shifter. Yeah. It's or the shift now. And like the stop one has got like it's got like Lockout kind of sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, like even my reverse, like I was supposed to be able to do it like that, put it in reverse. Now it just goes in. So you got to find the gear. Oh, you know yeah. So do you want to lock you out of the uh, gear if you go like too high in RPMs? Yes. Now, yeah, that was like, I can't, if I'm too high, I want it to go down low. That's how my, my challenge is the same thing. I think that's how I've been for that. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to like, let it rev out as long as I can, then try to shift it to see if I can get a better time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's really 
crazy that happened in the video, bro. Right. <laughs> Were you pulled over? Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I seen him trying to pull over. I was like, nah, he ain't about to get that. <laughs> Look, that's the end. They got up. It is no. not at all. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I looked over in the rear view or whatever. I was in trouble with him. I seen him, bro. He was standing at the stop sign. I was saying, you know, we was in second gear. Yeah. And like, he was trying to, try to like, uh, I seen him gas it because it went like that. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, he, he spinning the swerve. He got right here to like my quarter panel. And we was like, stop for a minute from where my car was trying to catch up. Yeah. The RPM. After that, it was straight pulling off. He was trying to. It's right on the window so they can hear the exhaust in just a little bit. It's all good. I had an AC on too, so it was a little bit of drag. I like the wine up here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty crazy we cut it on video. No, so I wanted to can they see on your, your review. Yeah. I want to see a little truck pulling up. <laughs> I wanted to do it one. Yeah. <laughs> and with that engine, uh, quarter intake. Yeah. Here, real quick. Yeah, so. And it kind of like the engine intake, what it does is like, you can't see it from the top, the cone or anything. It's in like the fender well down there. And, like, oh, yeah. The cone, the air into it and everything. Well, that's a pretty good place to have it. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna lie, being that like, the lady who twisted my hair got it like kind of braided back. Mm -hmm. It's like the whole time I'm like this right here. <laughs> my eyebrows <laughs> raised. <laughs> That's what it feels like, so I'd be like kind of trying to adjust my face. <laughs> no, this is definitely a fun car for sure. Yeah, what it is. The four cylinder can't beat it. Yeah, that'd definitely dope to have y'all on the shop. Yeah. I always, at some point in time in life, I'm gonna work for myself. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be like with the YouTube. I don't always do YouTube, but I don't know if it's like main source of income or have my own welding fabrication shop. Yeah. If you wanted to. People always, oh, think, really. people always think stuff like that's crazy, bro. Like, yeah. That's your dream. You gotta go after that. Can't let more people think material from what you want to do. All right, I'm about to do a little drive-by for y'all and everything, and Mike's gonna get out and he's gonna record it on the other camera. So, I got gotcha. you. Oh, shoot, there's a truck. Yeah. All right, we got, we got a little drive-by going on. All right, so to get a little sound clip for y'all it sounds pretty good for a four cylinder you know i'm a v8 person so oh, see, i read a little bit of freedom rain whenever we get this gas on this supercharged four cylinder <laughs> uh. all right so we about to get this uh fly by for you sound clip my initial reaction to the way it sounds, it sounds pretty good. I'm a, v, I'm a V8 person, so you know, I like that loud rumble and all that stuff, like, you know, chopping and all that. But for what it is, it sounds pretty good to me. And I'm not a, I, I don't discriminate against like, you know, a car. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's a V6 or a V8 or whatever. I, I like them all. If I like it, I like it. So that's my main thing. You know, happy with it. So, are y'all ready? This is a little 20-year-old. Come on, if I like it, I like it. So that's my main thing. But he's coming back this way now. So I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys see and hear it. Cause it sounds pretty good. That wine is crazy to say, you know, it's a four cylinder.
go. A little 20p. That's what you're going to get when you get that 20 roll right there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but you know. It's there if you want it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I think it sounds crazy. <laughs> Get back in the light. I'm honestly even more surprised on the outside of the car because in the inside, the, I, you can hear the wine. It sounds good, but on the outside, it's, <laughs> it's almost like a Hellcat wine almost in a four-cylinder. It's crazy. <laughs> so maybe he's going to come back. I think he's coming back this way. We're going to see if he's going to do a little something else for us. Did you hear whining? Yeah. The wine sound even crazy on the outside. It's crazy. It's crazy. Sure. Yeah. I ain't never heard it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling the camera, it's like, almost like a Hellcat wine almost in a four cylinder. <laughs> Dang, a little it mini sound Hellcat. Inside, it sounds different from the inside and the outside for sure. Dang. I hope you can hear in the video how loud the wine is. <laughs> yeah. Inside the car, whenever we get to M6 Mike's car, I'll finish on y'all around the car and everything about what he's did now, and then we'll get this video. It's a whole lot different. Yeah, it does. All right, so that's the end of the video, and uh, we just finished it and everything. And what's, what's your thoughts about it now, bro? I would say, I mean, I was already expecting to be surprised, being how you were kind of like bringing it up, but yeah. like what I was expecting wasn't what I got it was way more than what i was expecting <laughs> i don't think it was like a little small pool here and there but like it was time where i was kind of like trying to fight myself for it, trying yeah to back. So, <laughs> it'd be a force it was just strong yeah, it'll it. shock you yeah, and it's my, the biggest surprise though is how the wine sound from the outside that, that caught me off guard <laughs> yeah that, that uh quarter intake it really does make a difference yeah that, that caught me off guard because you wouldn't expect to call like just the wine or like yeah as quick as it is yeah or feel how it feel really yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah. I see you did some stuff to this since we uh, last left off. Yeah, I don't wrap it. I came to my senses. I don't, I will probably wrap it again sometime down the line, but as of right now, I saw the OG look with the TH and that thing. Yeah. So I kind of missed that. Uh, I repainted my wheels, the original gold color I had painted them the first time. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, I think it fit a lot better with the white and black. Yeah. I had like the rose gold because it was different, but this actually fit better. Uh-huh. Uh, as far as anything else, like I do have to replace my fog light, the little covers on them. Yeah. Because that one was already broke at some point when the guy uh, wrapped it. So uh -huh. This one, I took off because I was going to, I bought a new set. The set came in, did not fit at all. Yeah. So, I ended up having to buy a new little grill thing too because uh, that was actually broke from when I had it here. So as of right now, the main thing, the next thing I'm probably not doing would be like performance. I want to put a, a drag stick on here. Yeah. Just for See what it do. I don't rest off. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, well, but he said that um, he's wanting to do another ride along with it. He's got it tuned and everything. And, uh, yeah. He's wanting to uh, see my reaction to it now to his tune and see if I can feel the difference and stuff. He said he does, so we're gonna do that. But I appreciate him, uh, you know, coming on this ride along and experiencing another good time with him and everything. Uh, this was definitely one for the books. So we had some crazy stuff that happened during this one that wasn't expected, but I appreciate all y'all. I appreciate who have subscribed and even who don't, just tuning in. And, you know, just keep doing what you love. And uh, we'll check y'all out and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.